that's unsettling. A selenite is getting out of a projectile very much like mine. And I could swear that the gilded characters represent human beings worshipping something. This inscription must say, the light, or knowledge, comes from the moon to the earth. Hmm, what's this? A healthy stroke of the piston and the twisted metal is straightened out. It works! Ardan has just restored the operational capacity of an ancient lunar mirror capable of sending powerful light signals through space. Since our hero's departure, terrestrial observatories have kept their telescopes trained on the moon. Very quickly they detect the signals and reply using the same method. A dialogue in Morse code is rapidly put in place. The shell is almost certainly going to crash into the crater. I have to go down there, determine the impact point, and take delivery of the merchandise. These are the remains of a shell sent from Earth. The explosion of the supply ship has scattered the Earth plants I ordered. Apparently, only one variety of cotton managed to germinate by hybridizing with a local plant. Fascinating!
struts through the open doors. It crosses the grotto, deftly leaps from it, and goes off. The doors of... erupts through the open doors. It crosses the grotto, deftly leaps from it, and goes off towards the forest. The doors have stayed open. erupts through the open doors. It crosses the grotto, deftly leaps from it, and goes off towards the forests of the crater. The doors have stayed open. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it.
I've got enough. I've got it. And what if I help the Selenites discover my chef's talents by adding something to their food? I'm rather satisfied with my last edition. The explosives are in place.
Jean has succeeded. Using massive stores of ingenuity, he's managed to leave the moon on his own. Seven hours and 20 minutes after launch, Michel Ardant's voyage comes to an end with a glorious dive into the South Pacific. The current pushes the aluminum shell towards the shoreline of a mysterious island, figuring on no map. Michel Ardant, I presume? Yes, that's me. And with whom do I have the honor of speaking? Call me Nemo. Captain Nemo. Thus, destiny has led our interplanetary voyager to the secret base of Nemo, the inventor of the celebrated submarine, the Nautilus. Will Ardant be able to persuade the captain to join him for a new journey to the moon? What measures will the Selenites take to protect their tranquility? Perhaps you'll find out in the next adventure. <laughs>